More and more often, Russian military and civilians are cooperating with the Ukrainian armed forces. For example, residents of the Kursk region are reporting en masse about Kadyrovites because this is the only way they can protect themselves from them, ammunition depots and the movement of equipment. Also behind almost every successful strike deep into the temporarily occupied territories, there are people who provide information about air defense positions, ammunition depots or the movement of Russian units, the Center for International Resistance said. The Central Neural Network recalled how, at the end of August, in the Kursk direction, units of the defense forces shot down a very rare reconnaissance and strike UAV, the Orion, a sort of Russian Bayraktar on a minimum. In total, the Russian Federation has produced 30 such drones, of which at least seven have already been shot down. Their cost is unknown, but investments in this project amounted to about $30 million. The Russian joint stock company Kronstadt, located in St. Petersburg, is engaged in the production of these UAVs. In addition to the Orion, it produces several other drones and systems for them. According to the Central Neural Network, an informant inside the group that services and pilots these drones and is associated with Kronstadt helped in the destruction of this drone. This person contacted representatives of certain units of the Ukrainian armed forces and offered to pass on information about the UAV, the control system, personnel training, and most importantly, how exactly the invaders are using the Orions against our troops. Having received full information, the Air Force set up an ambush and shot down the expensive Russian bird. As reported, the Russians have increased the number of their troops in the Kursk direction. There are about 45,000 of them there. The Institute for the Study of War explained that the Russians would have to transfer more troops from the front to counter-attack in Kursk. Currently, the main responsibility for the fighting in this area is borne by airborne troops that were transferred from Ukraine. According to experts, this confirms that the command is ready to transfer more elite and combat-ready troops. They will need this to form combat-ready units for conducting a counter-offensive and protecting the border. Firefighters were battling a pipeline fire in suburban Houston that sparked grass fires and burned power poles on Monday, forcing people in the surrounding neighborhood to evacuate. The fire began at 9.55 a.m. in La Porte, located about 25 miles southwest of Houston. Video footage from KTRK showed a park near the fire had been damaged and firefighters pouring water on homes near the blaze. Officials have ordered residents in the Brooklyn neighborhood area near the fire to evacuate, Lee Woodward, a LaPorte City spokesperson said in an email. Please avoid the area and follow law enforcement direction. Further details will be released as available, Woodward said. The cause of the fire was not immediately known.